What's up everyone? Ed Ballou with some more tips and tricks on helium. So yesterday was an announcement by the helium team about relays and even I was a little caught off guard and what's this relay stuff? And then when I started reading the announcement I'm like oh well this makes sense. This is just port forwarding. But if you don't know what it is, it, well let's just start with if you know what it is. Well if you know what port forwarding is just go set port forward. Here's your port number right now. If you disagree or want to look at for yourself just google helium network port forwarding and then you can see that that's the right port number that you'll need that should be the only one you need as well now you can stop watching this video if you're kind of a nerd <laughs> or if you know what port forwarding is awesome great for those that don't or want some more information obviously like i do i get you the extra information all right here we go so I talked about port forwarding and port 44158, and that is TCP only, okay? That's all you need for TCP. And that is to the IP of your hotspot. So how do you set up that? Well, we'll talk about that in in a little bit, but basically you you Google. This is your this is your line right here. How do you do that? Well, you set up you or you Google the or search, whatever search engine you use. You Google the router name or the brand, the model, like that, and then you just put in port forward as well. And then it should come up with exactly how you're supposed to do it, whether you watch a YouTube video or you look up the manual itself and get the information there. So I highly recommend, this is how you set up your port forwarding, okay? We'll get into what that is in a little bit, but that's roughly what you do, okay? All right, so when you do that, you want to set the IP of where it is on your network. So this is on your router. I'm not talking about the, the, the miner, the hotspot. These are two separate things. The router is where your internet comes in from your ISP, your internet service provider, and then connects to your router. And then you can usually log into your router. Many times a lot of people uh, don't know how to do this that somebody just sets it up for them. If you have a person that does the internet for you, go and ask them what to do and they, they'll for sure know it. If you have a friend or a family member that plays video games, more than likely they'll know what to do as well. All right, but you'll need your IP number, whatever that is. A lot of times it's 192.168.1. something. And then you put that in there and you say port, four, uh, port 44158 and you select TCP, okay? All right, how does this affect earnings? Why does the healing even care about it? Well, this operates on the peer-to-peer -peer network. So this is how we are able to send packets back and forth from miners and let them do challenges over the internet and also consensus. As consensus operates, if, if the event happens and your hotspot participates in consensus, well then it needs extra ability to talk to your hotspot. Oh, while you're doing this, please update your router. If you are out of date, that's a bad thing. You should always keep your router up to date. Just, just want to say that. All right, so back to that, uh, to Helium and how it affects. Well, really, if you don't have this set up correctly, you're gonna experience some network lag and some timeouts, and this could affect your earnings. It probably will affect your earnings. Also, it slows down consensus. So if you see earnings are regularly motoring through and then all of a sudden they just disappear for a little bit, it could be that consensus is happening and, and happening much slower because there's a, uh, a node that's been selected for consensus that is in our, this relay mode and it can really stall out the network and just stall out the earnings that are going on. Now there's some ability of the network to kind of move through that, but still it, it can really slow down when we're getting our rewards. So please help me, help yourself, help all of us in the community by setting this port forwarding up. All right, so that's the main crux of why we need it and what to do. Now let's look at some troubleshooting things that you may encounter. I've already helped a bunch of people this, this morning and they've been asking questions about this. So I wanted to dive into a couple of those. We're here real quick. 
So one of the things that I noticed even last night while talking to somebody is that if you switch between your Ethernet and your Wi-Fi, sometimes that can mess with your IP that is that is set. So if there's a auto assigning of the of the IP that happens by your router, if that switches when you go from Wi-Fi to Ethernet, that could be a cause of where you had port forwarding set up, but then you switched it at some point and then it got reprovisioned with a new IP address. So make sure you double check on that. Maybe you just need to log back in. Oh, whoops, okay, here's the new IP, done. And it works just fine. Alternatively, or one thing that you can do is set a static IP address in there. And what the static IP address is that it will always set that on your network 100% of the time, as long as your router is configured. If you ever reset your router, then you'll need to go back and set all this up again every time you reset your router or if you get a new router. Very important to remember. All right, next, uh, it, this may be way beyond m most of your knowledge, but if you have a VLAN set up or a DMZ set up or if you're using Tor, Tor is a way to kind of obscure your connection a little bit uh, and then and still participate in the network. So if you're if you're set up using that, I, well, if you're using Tor, I think you know what you're doing. So probably you're good. But me just mentioning it might be, oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. All right, next, if you're still having troubles, I really recommend. And even if you're not, this is a just a really general uh, helpful tool to use either the Helium app diagnostics itself or download the Helium Utility app. Both of these are on your, uh, if you have an iPhone app store, and then of course on Android as well, to where you download all your other apps. So both of those are available. Obviously you need the Helium app to, to even have a wallet, but the Helium uh, Hotspot Utility app is awesome. Very, very good. And one time I just connected to it, and to the miner, and it solved my problems. It was really, really weird, but, <laughs> If it works, it works. So I really recommend you do that. Now, in both of these apps, when you do the diagnostic run, I think in the Helium app, it's you have to hit the settings, if I remember right, and then select diagnostics. If you're in the Helium Utility app, then it's you select the diagnostic run. And when it does that, it's going to query your hotspot. Now, one thing about that is if you have a button on the side, so if you have the OG miner, the white one, then you'd hit the button on the side. If you have the rack miner, you would need to unplug it and then plug it back in in order for it to start that kind of uh, searching pairing uh, session, if you will. Once you do that and you do the diagnostic runs on either app, it will tell you inbound and outbound, and you're looking for the green checks or good or, or whatever. It's it, you need both of those to be positive, both of those to be working, and then it, that says that you have it set up 100%. They did say in the in the announcement from Helium that the diagnostic that shows on Explorer for this may take a few hours to fully. Uh, propagate back up to Explorer. So this is your cheat code. If you use the apps to log in or to pair with your device and then figure out this inbound outbound, if both of those are good, you're good. You should very much be able to wait, you know, see, be confident that those will come up, that the relay will come off of, of your hotspot on the Helium Explorer. That's it. And I just want to give another shout out to please update your router. This is just a good security thing all around. I know that there's been some questions about security and internet security. What does all this port forwarding mean? Put it in the comments. If you have an awesome video that explains security around port forwarding, drop it in the comments. I'd love to share it. I've actually got a potential host that is very nervous about this idea of port forwarding. So if you give me a, a video about that that you would recommend, I'd really appreciate it myself. Again, very easy. Please update your, your router. And then the easy answer is Google how to port forward for your specific router. That's all she wrote, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please remember to like and subscribe and ask me your questions. I love these little conundrums and getting miners back up and running 
I'm not your support person totally. I hope to put all of the details in these videos such that you learn everything that I know so that I don't have to do support. And also the Helium community doesn't have to do support. I love community, but if we can get knowledge like this and spread it, then it all helps create relationships around the community and disseminates that so that it's not always coming my way. <laughs> love your questions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like and subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Peace.